Hey guys, um, so I don't even know what I'm going to title this. I, I wanted to talk about my thoughts on BTS, the BTS members impending military enlistments. Um, so next year, Jin will have to enlist in the military and I believe Sugar will have to as well. I want to come right off the bat here and say that I am not as well versed in this matter as some other people. So if I say anything that's incorrect, I apologize. I am going by things that I have heard and things that I have read. Um, and I guess I wanted to just do this today. I wanted to do it right now because it's still fresh in my head. I've been thinking about this while I've been at work, which is distracting as all hell, but I... I have an opinion on the law regarding mandatory military enlistment in South Korea, which is wrong in and of itself. I am nothing but a fan of BTS, I'm a member of ARMY, I'm not South Korean, I have no knowledge other than the very vague knowledge of their military enlistment rules, I have no knowledge of the country that sort of thing. I'm not as well versed as I would like to be. Um, and I would love to research this more, but I needed to get this off my chest right now while it is sitting in my head. Um, like most of the army, I don't want, I don't want them to have to enlist. I, a lot of people have that opinion that they feel like BTS has done so much within the music industry that they should be exempt, blah, 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 blah. I understand where they are coming from, the military are coming from in the sense that they don't want to be seen playing favorites. I agree completely with how Big Hit has phrased it saying that they will do their duty. Um, let me just hit my car. Cool. Sorry. They will do their duty when the time comes, which is yes, that is all well and good. I understand, I don't know where I heard Jin saying this, but I remember reading it, that Jin said that this is the world that they've grown up in. This is what they, to them, this is just another thing that happens in their lives. It's not something that I am used to, I will admit. Um, I don't know Korea's, South Korea's military system. I do know that um, Australia has the army reserves people who enlist in the military. Again, I have a very vague understanding of my own country's military stuff. Um, you can enlist and you go through training for X amount of months or something. And then should we ever go to war, you are called upon to go to war. You are an army reserve. You don't have to be actively, not in active duty is what I'm saying. You're there if we need you sort of thing, which I think is one solution that they could have and again i apologize is if this is this is going to offend anyone or if this goes against what anyone else is thinking this is just my opinion and this is just me needing to get this out pretty much um now i know with the people who the exemptions again i have a very 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 vague idea of how it all works and i don't pretend to be an expert or know or think that my knowledge is better than anybody else's on this matter. This is just what I think. Now they've got exemptions for gold medalist athletes. And then there's another one that I really, I for the life of me cannot remember what it is, but it's something to do with some sort of cultural merit award or some, some really, really high award. So those are the people who are exempt. Now I feel with the very high possibility of this happening, that within the music industry, your gold medal, your gold medal standard is winning, like, is winning a Grammy. Winning a Grammy is the equivalent of a gold medal in music, is what I personally feel. It's the same with um, acting. Winning an, winning an Academy Award is like your gold medal for acting. Now, this is, this is one of the things where I've thought about it and I've gone, now this technically wouldn't be seen as favoritism. I don't pretend that I 
know much about any other K-pop bands. I know the names of a couple of other K-pop bands, but I don't actively listen to any of them. I've heard in passing a couple of Blackpink songs and I, I don't pretend to be an expert on K-pop, but I feel in regards to mandatory military enlistment and service, that if BTS or any other K-pop boy band, I know that's not necessarily what they're called, but that's just, let's phrase it like that, were to win a Grammy, the gold medal standard for music, then they should be exempt. That is how I feel that you would be able to get around it per se. I feel like if BTS were to win a Grammy, because we are hoping to God they're going to get nominated for one, if they were to win a Grammy, that, that right there should be your exemption. That then opens the door. Now, a lot of people recently have been saying that BTS paved the way. A lot of other K-pop bands have said BTS have paved the way. K-pop is become, slowly becoming more mainstream in other countries other than South Korea. Other than Korea. Sorry, I'm not sure how it works with the North and the South of Korea. I apologize if I say anything incorrect. But I feel that if any K-pop band, boy band, were to win a Grammy, there's your exemption. I feel like that opens the door for the other K-pop boy bands. And I'm not saying they don't work hard, but that gives you the incentive. If that is your choice, if that's what you want to do, if you want to be exempt from military enlistment as a solo artist, a group or whatever, you make that effort to get to the point where you will be nominated for a Grammy. Now, people will probably say that that's not fair on a lot of other K-pop bands because BTS are the only ones who have come close to being nominated for a Grammy. I, I said earlier, I am speaking as a fan of BTS. As a member of ARMY, I am speaking as someone who, I haven't spent that much time with BTS, so I, I don't want them to have to separate. If they, and I get where people are coming from when they say that, you know, it's not fair to the younger ones if they do all enlist together, but I personally, if we don't get, if they don't, aren't exempt from it, I would, I would like for them to be allowed to enlist together if that's their choice. If they don't want to do that, then that's fine. It's all, it's, all the matter of its BTS coming down to it in the end. And this is, this is such a ramble and I'm sorry if you've clicked off of this by this point because this is just me stating my opinion on what I think. And this was not the video that I was going to put up today at all, but this has been plaguing my mind for the past, for the past couple of days because I keep seeing articles pop up about the impending military enlistment. For completely selfish reasons, I don't want them to split up, so to speak, because I want to be able to see BTS live in concert. I want to see all seven of these boys that I have absolutely fallen in love with performing to their heart's content. I said it in my, my review of the movie Bring the Soul, um, uh, the video called A Letter to BTS, it'll be linked up there. I said if there was anything I could do to take away the pain and the hurt and all of the the bad things so that they could perform and do what they love to their heart's content, I would do it in a heartbeat. If it meant that I was going to be miserable, I would I would take that all away so that they had a chance to do what they wanted to do because they are seven of the most wonderful humans in the world. Yes, they're a good looking group of boys, but singing, dancing, rapping, acting, everything they've done for the world, they just, they just, they deserve it. And if this was something that I was able to achieve, I, I honestly have thought of writing a big long ass speech why did that beep? Sorry. Big long ass speech, translating it into Korean, trying my goddamn hardest to learn it, go over to South Korea and appeal to them with this option, appeal to their military with this option of if 
any musical act, solo, boy band, otherwise, wins a Grammy, there is your exemption because that's your gold medal standard for music, in my opinion. And I'm sorry this video is so long and it's probably very boring to a lot of you, but I know a lot of people that are subscribed to my channel are BTS fans. And as much as you read that people are still going to support the boys even when they're gone, I think a lot of people know in their hearts that it's not gonna be the same. Even if BTS goes on as six members while Jin is out, five members if Sugar, when Sugar goes, it's not going to be the same. I've seen, there's an article that keeps popping up telling me that BTS brings in $4.6 billion or something like that. It might've been million. No, I think it was billion into South Korea's economy every year. They're the cause of that. Being realistic, we know, as much as I don't want to admit it and as much as I'm saying I am not knowledgeable on this at all, this is just what I think, we know that it's going to drop. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of members out there, there's a lot of people that are fans of the group that are solo stands. I personally love them as a group, okay? I'm not going to stop listening to them if RM leaves. They are still amazing. RM's my bias. I'm not going to stop listening to them if Jin walks, if Jin is not there. I'm not going to stop listening to them. But there are those people, the, those fans that you will lose because it's not the same as before. As much as we may try to pretend that it's going to be the same, it's not. And I don't know. I just, I wanted to put that option out there. Is if you were to win a Grammy, then that's your military exemption because it's your gold medal standard. And I'm repeating myself over and over again because I just feel like it's a solution that you can have without seeming like you are being biased towards BTS. Because everyone's talking about how K-pop is becoming more mainstream. If you win a Grammy, then there it is. They've won so many awards already, I don't see why you can't come up with an elegant solution to them being exempt. I, I am being completely selfish when I say I want them all to, say, to stay together. I personally, from dealing with these issues myself, I'm thinking of the mental health of the boys being in the environment that they've been in for their entire lives and the mentality that they've had to have their entire lives, I feel like going into the military would be such a big change and a big shock that I don't, I honestly don't know if that all of the members would be able to do it. And these are just my opinions. You guys can disagree with me in the comments if you want, that is fine. Please just don't be super nasty about it. I will just delete anything that's really, really nasty. Um, but yeah, I, if they win a Grammy, I feel like, cause they may not, we, as much as we want them to win a Grammy, they may not win a Grammy. But I feel like if you put that there as an option for everyone, then you've got your solution, really. I just, I, I don't know how to finish this off. This is just, this is me ranting and rambling about something that I, I feel passionately about. I haven't gotten to spend a lot of time with BTS. I think, I don't know, I might feel differently if I had been with them and known about them for longer. But I think because I've had such a short amount of time and a lot of people say you've, you haven't been with them for that long. It's not the same thing. You're right, it's not. For me, it's going to be harder because I have gotten so attached to them in such a short amount of time and started putting my heart and soul into everything that is BTS that losing that as the person I am, knowing like knowing the person that I am and my mental state and everything, it is going to be a huge blow to me because try all we want guys, it's not going to be the same.
they are a seven member group and that's how we know them yes they have their solo stuff and their solo endeavors but to me bts is seven members and that's all they're ever gonna be no one's ever going to change that so yeah that's just my thoughts on the situation and i'm sorry if i said anything that was super incorrect or i offended anybody but yeah i needed to get that out and off of my chest so i'm gonna drive home now and have some lunch before i die from not having eaten anything since early this morning so yeah bye guys <laughs>